Hey, it's Chad HD, host of the Chad HD Show. Welcome to the morning brief for the morning of September 12th, 2016. A lot to get into on the show today and over the weekend. Uh, the tone of the race, or maybe uh, some of the uh, topics of the race, changed a little bit after Hillary Clinton, the Democratic candidate for president, overheated at, uh, at a 9-11 memorial service in New York City. This uh, after a week or so of Republicans questioning Hillary Clinton's health, calling for Hillary Clinton to release her health records. Uh, if you uh, go back to uh, the FBI report that was released, Hillary Clinton said that due to a concussion, she forgot uh, some certain uh, uh, some certain things uh, about uh, uh, th the, the briefings. Uh, Hillary Clinton also, uh, over the uh, past week, decided to cough a lot. She had to broke out into coughing fits, uh, which made Republicans question whether or not Hillary Clinton is healthy. And then on Sunday morning, uh, September 11th, she... Well, collapsed, really, is what happened. Uh, she was being held up by some people, could, could not get into a van by herself. She had to be basically tossed into the van. Uh, I'm sure they did it gingerly and everything. I mean, she is older. Uh, and she emerged later on saying that she was fine. And the press uh, was told by the Clinton campaign that she just overheated. Okay, well, it was in the low 80s in New York City. That's not exactly sweltering uh, on the East Coast. So did she really overheat, or is this some larger issue with Hillary Clinton's health? Uh, the Washington Post uh, and uh, some other newspapers said this is no longer a conspiracy theory. This is no longer just Republican talk. This is something that the voters deserve to know. Yeah, I agree. We also deserve to know, by the way, about Donald Trump's health and if he's perfectly healthy. One of these two people, Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump, will be the next president. They're both older, and we need to know how healthy they are. And Hillary Clinton, I'm sorry, there's been a lot of cover-up, uh, a lot of dodging of the press, laughing this off. It seems like something's going on with Hillary Clinton. What is it? And how will this impact the race going forward? I think for a lot of those who are uh, independent or on the fence, they look at this and it raises a lot of red flags. Not a good day, uh, not a good weekend for the Clinton campaign. Uh, and for Donald Trump and his campaign, well, people are probably giving that campaign a fresh new look this morning. Tune in to the Chad Eastie Show weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time. Follow me on Twitter, Chad Eastie Radio. And don't forget... Follow KFYO here on YouTube and tune into the show 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time in Lubbock and online at KFYO.com. Have a great day. We'll talk to you on the radio.